So, uh, yeah, so we do this. How long does it say that we've been here? A minute and then we flip it. Oh, okay, so flip it. Careful. Nice job, Jaden. Good job. And then we take it out of here. Yeah, cheese curds. Mm -hmm. We can do cheese curds on our next episode of isolation cooking. Um, and then we put this onto here after another minute. Yeah, but it's just flipping back. Look, I know. So we'll uh, time lapse this so you guys don't have to watch us do every single donut hole. But yeah, that's uh, the start to our donut holes. We'll, we'll show the first product and then we'll just making sure it's brown on all sides and looks delicious right now. I'm either really gonna get really, really fat during isolation or Stop. I'm just gonna turn into a really good cook. It's a, it's a feisty little uh, donut hole. He's flipping every which way. <laughs> Hey everybody, so we're gonna come back to the donuts, or the, sorry, the Timbits. Timbits, not Timbits, that's a copyright, you can't call it that. I'm oh, sorry. So if you saw the Whatever shape of them, they kind of look like, um, I don't know, uh, I don't know. I made a joke that they look like virus balls, but that's probably not really funny. Corona balls. Corona balls. We're gonna call these Corona balls. We're gonna stop giving Corona a bad name. These are our Corona balls. So we're gonna come back and glaze these, but we had to start dinner. So we're doing homemade mac and cheese. Jane's gonna help me out with this one as well. She did the last one, but she's gonna help me out. She's a fantastic daughter. So we are using the standby. The Stay at Home Chef website. So that's the stayathomechef.com. Stovetop Mac and Cheese. The lady's name is Rachel. And yeah, we're using her recipe. So we're changing up a few things, which I'll explain at some point, just because we don't have everything, but that's what we're doing. So we first need to start, we've got our water started for boiling. We've got our big pot to start mixing and combining on the stove. So Jaden is going to add half a cup of salted butter to that big pot. That's what she's gonna do. I'm going to start shredding the cheese. So we will time lapse, we will come back, we will show you the finished product, and we'll do the taste test. Thanks guys. Enjoy the video, comment, like, share. We appreciate it all at Healthier at Home cooking during isolation.
Okay, so we got so many things going on. So I'm also doing um, Cobb on the Corn. You can all laugh and get that out of your system right now. And we're gonna do a barbecue style. So um, we're going to add oil to this, onions, garlic, cayenne. No, not cayenne, I don't have any cayenne. We'll use something else, make it a little bit different. Um, water, butter, and Worcestershire. Say that three times fast while you're in isolation. Practice that, that is what you have to practice while you're in isolation. And pepper. So yeah, we're gonna time lapse this so you don't have to watch me do it all, but I'm totally touching the corn. Hands to the side. Um, I wash my hands, door. Uh, we'll time lapse it and we'll come back and check in. Uh, you saw that the macaroni and cheese is done. It smells, looks delicious. And there's a ham in for the meat eaters. And yeah, corn, cauliflower, and we've got our famous coronavirus bites over there, glazed. Enjoy. Non-traditional Easter dinner right there. Homemade mac and cheese, bam. Beans and maple, bam. Cauliflower, bam. You're welcome. Happy Easter, everyone.